you heard about Avalanche's crimes? So this is the famous cave hotel. Is that SSL? Used to be a soldier. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra Sign Language came to be a thing. I know the basics. Queen's blood, huh? Hang on. Are you ex-military too?
solid idea. Good luck with that. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor-sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right, our audience doesn't want to hear commentary, they want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard.
about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose. One that be lies, therefore. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother.
did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, Great Mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the Vale, ones believed to be portents of calamitous ruin. Really? The creatures have been observed on many occasions in times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from our current location. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Photograph the comets you spot, though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Blessings of the planet be upon you.
Did you even look at the photos they gave us?
Nice! This is perfect! Well, well. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. Let's look for other spots.
This is spot on, Cloud. Okay, two down. Just one more left. Let's go. You snuck a shot of me earlier. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Come here. <laughs> oh, perfect. photo and go. Sure. Sounds good. Gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? The planet guided you to our store. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Have you heard about Avalanche's cries? They are what? Ghost of them. Uh, 
what are you doing? Nothing much. They're preparing for field work. Haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But well... Field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> Treating me like I'm some invalid? Why, I'm the very picture of health. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should pick you up while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Hmm? Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do.
supposed to get past it? Or is there another entrance? <laughs> ah, forgive me! You'll need a key! It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home! Now, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> But that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light.
where these monsters come from. Hurry! We gotta protect the spring! Yes, you Don't worry about it! Nanaki. Hmm. It seems all but spent. Or perhaps it is on the verge of awakening. Wait. Is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, oh, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. Whispers? 
Oh, we have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. is an unprecedented level of activity. Now there's proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains.
Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. The Marco meter, if you would. We'll handle these guys. Get back. Get ready. Well, don't overdo it. All right, you got this. Don't worry about it. Coming at you. Rock on me. Go. Hang back. Too bad. Not looking good. Go in it. Come on now. I am getting too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of Marco whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. 
but that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet, and the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted to not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me... <laughs> oh, now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? They say 
Stay the people. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? The falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous preference for posterity. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so... I see it! The pattern! An unprecedented configuration! Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just... asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? I don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have... said their piece. in need of guidance? Did you see that boat? Oh good! Nanaki! We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there.
is him. Seto. What? I'm not Seto. I'm... Fools and wretch. You think we shall be fooled again? Undying is our enmity. Here we shall have our revenge.
Hato. I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father? I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone. That he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though we had braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. He was a beautiful creature, in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity, that we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. We desire the return of our black materia, and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, yet his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him, only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. One by one, our arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. It was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. Finally. At long last. And thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it, not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm going to find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere, and I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours, and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek.